all right fam so we are back with another crazy video now apparently destiny who i believe is a streamer i'm not for sure i don't really watch his videos or whatever but apparently he has some words to say about trump after the attempted assassination on pierce morgan so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video i have not seen the entire video you know what i'm saying the entire clip should i say i have not seen this entire clip i've seen like bits and pieces of it but if we go ahead and get into it man hit the like button subscribe bro y'all need to subscribe to the channel okay seriously i'm, I'm being serious y'all have to subscribe to the channel you don't want to miss out on these crazy crazy videos so subscribe to the channel man without further ado let's get it let's go take all your freedom away. They won't acknowledge anything that happened on January 6th. Um, they say that the election was stolen and that your country is being taken from you. Like, I don't think anybody should be killed. I don't think anybody should go and kill anybody. But when you engage in this type of rhetoric and when you turn the temperature up over and over and over and over again, there is absolutely no room for but you, you to say, be shocked okay, or but surprised. You say, and okay. there certainly isn't room for you to right, ask for right. sympathy. But you, say, you, you, happen, but Destiny, you say you don't want anybody killed. And yet you say, I don't think I have much sympathy about the attempt to chastise people celebrating it. It's people celebrating the near assassination of Donald Trump. If you can't find it in you to chastise people who do that, aren't you just as despicable as the people you've just spent the last two minutes haranguing? No, because they've yes, led the way. This is the environment that they've created. So you just I, so you think behaving like a, the people you think are despicable is the correct course of action? It's not about behaving. Behaving like the people who are despicable would be leading that type of letter, would be leading that type of rhetoric. It would be denying every single You're bad thing. How many times as a liberal? They do, how though. many times? How many times as a liberal have you been on a show? Not you in general, but like a liberal been on a show and you've been forced to disavow all of the BLM riots, disavow all of the violence, and blah blah blah. And then you talk to yeah. conservatives about disavowing it. Disavowing violence. That was that's good. Flag. Yeah. January sixth. Oh, like conservatives disavow January sixth. Wait, wait, wait. Bro, okay, hold on, wait. Before we even finish, I'm tired of hearing people talk about this January 6th event, all right? Do people not understand that people have people can make their own decisions in life? Like, it's not like Trump went ahead and said, I want you guys to go do this. And, it, like, no, bro. It's like everybody had their, they had their own intentions in mind. Come to demand that Congress do the right thing and only count the electors who have been lawfully slated. Lawfully slated. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Today, we will see whether Republicans stand strong for integrity of our elections, but whether or not they stand strong for our country. It's just like the BLM riots. Like, if you put a BLM riot on every single black person, I would dislike you because, come on now, bro. It, black people can make their own decisions. The people that was in these BLM riots, they made their own decision to go ahead and tear down their own their own local businesses. They decided to do that. But this doesn't mean that I should deserve to die because my people or my skin, my skin, um, my race of people decided to join riots. I just decided. I didn't decide to join the riots. I shouldn't be the one that's, oh, well, if you're black, you should be killed because you remember when the whole black life, you guys destroyed my businesses. Like, no, I shouldn't be the one of that. You get what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. In the whole January 16th, bro, this wasn't a thing that was that that was uh, motivated by Trump. It's just that people decided to do these things on their own will. Trump didn't have no say so and say, I want you guys go to the White House, do this, go to the Capitol. Do this. Like, Trump didn't say none of this out his mouth. All this stuff was done because people are crazy. There's a lot of people out there that have, like, they, there's there's so many, like, hardcore politicians that they're willing to go to jail behind this. They're willing to die behind this, just like the guy that almost assassinated Trump. Nobody told him to go assassinate Trump. Maybe they did. I don't know. But I believe nobody. I believe he just really hate Republicans that bad, and he really hate Trump that bad that he was willing to die behind killing trump like he was willing to die behind that if even if he missed he was willing to die behind that like i'm just not that hardcore of a politician i'm not a politician period but it's just sad to see that people like destiny are just saying oh yeah january said like come on bro let's be realistic bro like for real I, that's the only thing they can say about your january 16 like, come on make it make sense find something better to say bro 
Great. First off, there's an entire cultural machine <laughs> that has lied. That, there there was, is an that entire was it. We just cultural. Saw it in real time. That's it. What? That's why. That's so why what? conservatives deserve absolutely zero sympathy for anything that happens as a result of their rhetoric. That's it. It's so. It's so easy. Like okay, it's but, so simple. Uh, okay, but I, I'm not exactly sure what he's talking about. But I would say this is the type of person that the internet has broke their brain, thus leaving them with very little empathy for their co-human. I mean, a good, decent father uh, is now dead because of this. He's had his brains blown out because he was defending his wife and daughter. I would hope that you have a little empathy well, for actually, that. I, I can, well, I can, I can, that. Well, let me, yeah. jump, let me jump in there because we have a clip of what Destiny has said about that very thing. Let's listen to this. Fuck it. Fuck the dude. Um, the firefighter guy. Uh, fuck Trump. Fuck the people that support him. I just want you to know, okay, just in case you're confused or it seems like I'm, uh, you don't, whatever. If one of you were in the crowd and you're a conservative fan of mine and you end up, you know, getting blown away or whatever the fuck, I'm making fun of you the next day on Twitter. I am 100%. I mean, I, I gotta say, I just found that repulsive, Destiny. Yeah, the, the, I, I wish that you, I, th there is no room, there is no room for the hand wringing, and I will, ne I will not participate in oh, this anymore. Oh, it's not hand wringing. The hand wringing, no, it's no, not it hand -wringing. absolutely is. No, it's I, just that you, you are positioning yourself. So well. no, but you, when you, you, you are, when you no, are in a world to you. where conservatives can say anything. No, I'm not a conservative. They can have any conspiracy theory. I'm not a conservative. They can have any plot, they can do any of these things, and then, and then liberals are supposed right, to sit and be like, Destiny, oh my no. God, it's so tragic. No, Destiny, absolutely not. Let me explain, absolutely. let me explain my position, because I'm not a conservative. I'm not, I'm not on either side in your race, right? Here's what I think about what you did. You'd like to fire off, as you've done so far in this debate, about your fury at how disgusting Republicans are, how inhumane they are, how they never have any empathy, blah, 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 blah. And then you yourself actually are exactly the, the person that you're describing. You are inhuman. You are somebody who seems almost gleeful that a young firefighter with a family, with a wife and children, who he was protecting as he was shot dead, that he deserved what was coming to him because he went to a President Trump rally, a man who was President of the United States until recently for four years and maybe again. You sound almost gleeful, Destin, and I'm sorry, that makes you, frankly, despicable. I don't think I'm gleeful about anything. I don't wow. think anybody should die. I don't think anybody deserves to die. But you want to talk about gleeful? Bro, you're contradicting yourself. You're contradicting yourself. You literally just said in that video, after the guy that died, after, after everybody that was there, like, and then you say, I don't think no one should die. Huh? Okay, bro. This is, this is, bro. This is beyond me, bro. Look at the conservative response to Pelosi's husband no, no. when they broke in. I can there answer that. mainstream media figures I can answer that, that. I don't care. I can answer that. With all I due think, respect, I don't care what your let answer Let me answer is. that. The reality is, is that conservatives have been turning the temperature up on the rhetoric. They have been making fun of these types of events for years. And now when something happens to them, now they're, they're looking for, for, uh, for sympathy from mm. the liberal side? Absolutely not. It's insane. Right. It's unhinged. Yeah, that you can conduct problem. yourself in such a manner but and expect people problem. to feel sorry when things happen. Why should why should anybody on the right listen to a word of your hectoring and lecturing about how they should behave. And by the way, for the record, the mockery of Nancy Pelosi's husband when he was attacked by an intruder with a hammer was also despicable, right? I, I can see despicable behavior on all sides and I'm happy to call it out when I see it. You, however, want to present yourself as this great kind of standard bearer of decency who sees outrageous behavior on the right time and again and is incensed by this disgusting, inhumane behavior. I'm, and yet I'm time sorry, and no, no. again, I, since the attempted assassination I, of Donald Trump, you have displayed exactly the same kind of inhumane behavior. Fuck him about a, a fireman who is who is killed because he attends a rally of a guy yeah, he wants to vote with, for. My issue with the my issue with the MAGA kids is not that they are not empathetic. My issue is that they support a president that led an insurrection against the United States. I'm not here to tone police over their empathy. 80 I'm million just people that voted for, for Donald empathy, Trump last time just, around. That's great. 80 million people voted for a guy that tried to insurrect the government, mm. and it looks like they might try to do it again. I mean, like I don't know what you want me to say. That's these are the facts on the ground. Um, the idea that so these you don't like you don't like attacks on you don't like attacks on democracy. So presumably you would unreservedly condemn the attempted assassination of of Donald Trump, because that's one of the most egregious attacks on American democracy of modern times. Presumably, you will take this opportunity, to, given you I, are I so anybody... determined to protect the integrity of democracy, you would find it absolutely outrageous that someone has tried to assassinate a president, right? 
If the other conservatives on this show want to say that it was absolutely outrageous no, that Donald you. Trump attempted to coup the government, I'm asking then, you. then maybe then I would. Yeah, no, I'm not going to get on my knees and and, and beg for uh, forgiveness or or show sympathy I'm to conservatives. You to, I'm not asking none. for that. I'm asking you to condemn what happened as an egregious attack on on democracy. Can you do that? No, I won't. No, I won't. I won't. You can't do that. that. You see, not so anymore. why the hell, absolutely frankly, not. Destiny, absolutely not. why the hell should we listen to a not. word you have to say wait, about... Wait, hold on. Why do you think conservatives haven't been listening to a word that liberals have said about anything for eight years? Right, what do you think is going to change? They? You think but that liberals point, come out Destiny. now and they go, oh my God, this was so horrible. But here's my point. Wow, that is true. Charlie, I'll bring you in at the end of this, I promise you, and you'll get a good chance to respond. But here's my problem, Destiny, with your whole position on this, right? Is that you don't actually have anything inside you that you other side to have. You don't have any of the empathy. You don't have any yes. sympathy. You don't care that someone tried to assassinate I'm Donald Trump. You don't care that a young fireman you with a family was I'm killed in the process. That. You don't Just actually, don't support you, you are not the person you want these other, other people to be. And all you do is play what a battery with every question I give you. And I'm just startled. Well, it's not, what about it? We're talking about Donald Trump. We're talking about the temperature of this country. But here's a question for the two panelists. What percentage of this event happening was due to Donald Trump's rhetoric? What do they think the answer to that question is? What percentage could it be that the, the other side, Very as little. we've just heard from Dave Rubin, has spent eight years calling Donald Trump the new Adolf Hitler, a person who was responsible for the murder of 12 million people, including 6 million Jewish people in a Holocaust. Last time I checked, Donald Trump hasn't murdered 12 million people. So much as you would like him to be the new Hitler, he's not. But again, to an impressionable young deranged mind who has easy access to guns, that can be easily interpreted as an existential threat, said President Biden. Somebody that needs to be put in the bullseye, said Biden. Okay, Only I'm last curious. week. I'm curious. And guess who, who do you what? Think, who guess do you what? Think, Somebody who do you think then comes forward and device, tries to kill the existential threat. Rhetoric? Who is engaged in more divisive rhetoric over the eight years? If you had to guess, if you had to assign a rough percentage, again you're Democrats playing what about three? Again you're deflecting. It's, just as not, it's not what about Just as Joe Biden, just as Joe Biden, Biden, Biden did last night, temperature. just as Joe Biden did with Lester Holt on NBC last night. Every time he was asked, "Have you done any soul searching about your own rhetoric, your own?" ill-advised use of language, he deflected it back to attacks on Trump. And you're doing exactly the same thing with Republicans. And I will do you the say, exact same you thing. Say Rep All right, I'm done listening to this nonsense, bro. If y'all want to, if y'all truly want to see the entire video, y'all can just look at it. It's, it's on Piers Morgan's channel. Destiny has no type of common sense. There's no brain up here. You can see that he doesn't feel any type of way for anything that he said. It's like he, it, it's like he's sitting there and he's just, he's not acknowledging what he's, he, it's like he don't recognize what he said. Like, it's, it's super sad to me, bro. It's, it's super sad how people are, people hearts are truly filled with evil. Like, I just don't see how someone can, like, applaud a, a event that almost happened. Like, the fact that, it's not even an event that almost happened, it's an event that did happen. The fact that Donald Trump was almost assassinated and people are applying that and then you got destiny who's saying f the guy who died after like bro that is sick that is nonsense because i guarantee if you was to die bro i guarantee your fans is not going to be saying f you f this f that even people that may hate you may not be saying it may be it, it may be people that will say that because they're sick too but i'm pretty sure that people will have some some type of sympathy for your death because we're talking about life here this for this is why I don't get into politics because forget the whole politic, the left and the right, forget all that, bro. We're talking about human life, bro. Human life, and we're talking about someone who was killed, like literally murdered for protecting his family, and you have no type of sympathy for that simply because he was at a Trump rally, because he voted for Trump, and then you keep bringing up the January sixth event that that uh, took place. Like, I'm just saying, bro, people have their own will and their own freedom to do what they choose to do, okay? Trump didn't get on stage and say, we need to take down the Capitol right now. We, we need to storm the Capitol right now. Like, Trump didn't get on the stage and say these words out his mouth, all right? And if he did, please show me clips where Trump actually stood on stage, said these words out his mouth, and people went ahead and acted on them. I truly believe that people act because they are because some people on the right side are crazy too. You got people on the left who are crazy too. You say that people don't want to listen to the left, the the, the right doesn't listen to the left. This the reason why is because the policies that the left has continued to to put to put out there, even the policies that Biden has, it's just like, bro, why why should we even follow these policies, bro? These policies are crazy, bro. They're crazy. They're not even like even if I wasn't 
even let's say even even if I was like not all the way there in my head. I don't even think that I would truly follow the policies that the liberals has continued to put out there. I don't even think I will follow these policies because it's, it's, it's no common sense in the policies that you guys just so, so for. Like, it's no common sense in those policies, bro. Biden came in office and he just tore America apart, tore America apart. But we we don't we don't keep we don't remind ourselves how America was when Donald Trump was in office. Like I said, I'm not here to be a politician or hard. Like I'm not here for none of that. I'm here for truth. If I see a president that's here to take over, that's to make America better again, that's here to put policies in order that should already be put in order, or put in place, should I say? Why wouldn't I vote for that type of president? Why would I vote for a man who barely can? who barely can get his words together, who barely can walk up a flight of stairs, who barely can even state the things that he had, like basically contradict himself all the time. Every time he goes, he always contradicting himself. It's ridiculous. Why would I even vote for someone like that? Why would we vote for someone who has policies that's not even of God? Why would I even vote for someone like that? This country, like we say one nation under God. And, and, and yet we're voting for presidents who don't even have no type of God values, God standards, nothing. It's like this whole entire nation has drifted away from God. But guess what? When Trump get back in office, we're going to be right back placed under God. And I'm not saying we can't do that ourselves. I'm saying that when God, when, when Trump has put pla when Trump has put orders in, in place that are of God, that are of God values, why wouldn't I vote for someone who is after God's heart and who's after putting policies in order about God? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, why would I not vote for someone like that? Like, Destiny, you truly need help, bro. You truly need help. Like, genuinely need help, bro. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous the way that you think. It's ridiculous the way that you have no type of sympathy, even for even for the words that you said. You have no type of, uh, no apology, no nothing. It's just straight. And it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. I really couldn't listen to that nonsense no more. I felt myself getting heated, bro. Truly felt myself getting heated. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy Japan. I love each other. When y'all subscribe to the channel, if you are new, okay, you have to subscribe. All right, y'all have to subscribe, bro. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been your boy Japan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.